Let's uh, let segue here. Uh, end of the year, you always get the, the lists, you know, the best, the worst, and so on. So uh, the good friends that, uh, my good friends at BuzzFeed came up with six words that need to be left in 2013 oh, good. and not taken into 2014. So here they are. Number one, it's, I don't have it up on the screen, it's just me. Yeah, thanks though. Um, twerking was number one. Twerking? Twerking. Do you know what that is? Wait, what? T O R or T W? It's T W E R K. Oh, okay. Let me let me let me say no, it no, another I know way. What that is. Oh, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you may have heard of her. Okay. All right. Um, number two is YOLO. Oh. Number three was they have to understand these are like twenty somethings putting us together. So the third one was the cloud. All right. As you just said, it was kind of confusing because we actually have real clouds. But the, anyway, so uh, number four was Generation Y or the Millennials, which is basically anybody under 30, apparently. So uh, I'm a Gen Xer. So um, like, just good job us. That's right. That's right. Richard Marks. All right. Class of 89. Um, number five was uh, one of my uh, least favorite swag. Swag was, was number five. And number six, and I hadn't really thought of this one. Uh, was the F word, which, you know, as one who doesn't say the F word, uh, are you guys familiar with, uh, I don't know if you've seen The Wolf of Wall Street? 506 F-bombs in The Wolf of Wall Street. So it's 506 F words in three hours. So Too many. good job, uh, Leo. So uh, I did want to point out, here's a word. I'm not against this concept, but I'm very sick of this word. Enjoy. Hey, Justin, what's up? Not much, Jimmy. Hashtag chillin'. What's up with you? Just been busy working. Hashtag rise and grind. Hashtag, is it Friday yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, check it out. I brought you some cookies. Hashtag homemade. Hashtag oatmeal raisin. Hashtag show me the cookie. <laughs> Sweet. Hashtag don't mind if I don't. Pretty good. Hashtag get my cookie on. Hashtag I'm the real cookie monster. Hashtag no, 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 no. Delicious, right? Hashtag I did it all for the cookie. Hashtag L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L Hashtag classic. By the way, did you catch last week's episode of Duck Dynasty? Hashtag quack quack. Nah, lately I've mostly been watching Netflix. Hashtag orange is the new black. Oh, nice. I've been watching a lot of Barney the Dinosaur. Hashtag purple is the new black. Hashtag I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Hashtag I'm 38. Hashtag dinosaurs. Hashtag how do they go extinct? Hashtag meteor. Hashtag ice age. Hashtag speaking of ice age, I just watched ice age on demand the other day. Hashtag funny. Hashtag Ray Romano. Hashtag Debra. Debra. <laughs> hey, by the way, Halloween's only like a month away. I know. I mean, do you know where you're going to be at? Hashtag life decisions. Hashtag sexy ghost. I think I'm going to go as a ninja turtle. Hashtag gotta be Raphael. Hashtag Leonardo sucks. Hashtag the turtle, not the Italian Renaissance painter. Hashtag Mona Lisa. Hashtag is she smiling? Hashtag speaking of smiling, I just saw my dentist. Hashtag bling. Hashtag dental care. Hashtag cavity free. Hashtag that's how we do. Hashtag we go hard. Hashtag and we can't stop. We won't stop. Hashtag we run this. Hashtag true players for life. Hashtag is it worth it or let me work. Get. Hashtag put my thing down, flip it, then reverse it. Hashtag is your women in the band yet? Hashtag is your women in the band yet? Hey guys. Yeah, Quest? What's up? Mm. So, again, I'm not against hashtags, but it seems to me, and it brings up this larger issue of things just seem to get ridiculous after a while. Like, I understand a hashtag or two, um, but. 15? I, I don't know. It, it, seems, it seems goofy. Uh, we asked you, the people, your uh, most overused words are words that you're sick of. Like. Literally. Like. Seriously. Swag. 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 Like. Hashtag. <laughs> like. Uh, it's gotta be dingus. <laughs> Moist. Hey. Ointment. Miley Cyrus. Moist. YOLO. Hashtag. Moist. Literally. I had no idea that literally was so was so overused. I'm again I was So what about you? Word you're sick of, overused, like literally you can't like anymore. I'm very proud of our student body here for identifying that literally has been overused. Well done. Give yourself a round of applause for that. Um, 
literally means to, it is the same thing. It literally took me an hour to get to the store today it means it took you an hour to get to the store. So if you say, it literally took me an hour to get to the store and it took you 10 minutes to get to the store, you're misusing that word, so don't do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, words like is bothersome, though certainly unavoidable. Um, um, <gasps> YOLO. I, I hate that one. I hate yeah. YOLO. My students know that all too well. How about phrases? Uh, phrases. I overuse at the end of the day. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't know what else to say. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> phrases that I think. Um, I'm not saying that. Oh. I hear that all the time. I'm not, well then just say what you were saying, yeah. you know, and trust that your audience can discern what you weren't saying. I think that <laughs> is overused. There's a lot of layers on that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what words should we use sparingly or exclusively for certain things? Because we tend to just kind of word vomit all over the place and then we hashtag it. And, and literally uh, annoy people. So what do we, what do we, that's, that's three literallys. All right, so what is? Um, I think that words we should use sparingly are, are words that we reserve for, for God. I mean, in all honesty, many words, most words should be used sparingly because our language is such that the words we have all attend to very specific purposes. There's very few words that we really should be using, you know, all the time. Most words should be used for just very certain situations. But like words that we use for God shouldn't also be used for shoes. We shouldn't say God is awesome and my Nikes are awesome because that dilutes what God is to us. Um, I, one thing I think would be a neat idea is to take one word or two words or three words and reserve those for Christ alone. Hmm. So if you want to you know, a word like excellent or wonderful, if you, you know, in your own world only use that for God, you're going to kind of reappropriate that for God alone. That word is going to garner more weight because it's used to refer to Christ and nothing else. I think that is one way to kind of, you know, take back our language, give it some of its meaning again, instead of we use all these superlatives for all things, for shoes and brownies and clothes and that movie, when really some of those things need to be reserved for things that really are fantastic, excellent, and awesome. Hmm. Well said. Well said.